Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and today I'll be reviewing the Dymo Digital Post-it Scale. So you could find this scale at any office supply store like a Staples or an Office Depot. I found this scale at Walmart, and they could range between $20 and $25. I believe this one was about $24 at Walmart. So the model of this scale is P3. The capacity is 3 pounds or 1.3 kilograms and the weight increments is 0 0.05 ounces or just one gram and the units it weighs in are uh, pounds and ounces and uh, kilograms or grams so you can switch between the two which I'll demonstrate after it does have an auto shut off uh, capability and it is powered by three AAA alkaline batteries alright so let's just go through the functions of the scale Obviously, this is the on-off button, so you turn it on, wait a second or two, and when the zero appears, it's ready to weigh. And this does have an auto shut-off capability. After three minutes of inactivity, it'll shut off on its own. And this is the zero-out scale. Let's say you want to measure or weigh liquids or grains of sand or beans or whatever. So you would put a container on top of this scale and you would push the zero out button so it'll zero out the container and then you could add your liquid or your grains of rice or beans or whatever inside this inside the container and it'll weigh it um, without the weight of the container. Now this is the kilograms to pounds switch so right now it's in kilograms or grams and you switch that and now it'll weigh in pounds and ounces but for now let's just keep it on grams now this is the hold button now if you want to weigh something and have the weight still be displayed on the screen you just weigh your item push hold and it'll stay on the screen like if you need to take note or anything it'll stay on there for about 10 seconds Alright, so I'll be using this scale when I do my Beyblade reviews. Let's uh, do a little demonstration. So I have Samurai Pegasus, and I just measured it, or weighed it, and it said it was 36 grams. So when that little dot, or that little zero appears, that means it's um, done weighing. That means it's that's the actual weight of the Beyblade. Now, you while that Beyblade is still on the scale you could switch so it's 1.25 ounces that's in ounces but let's keep it on grams so this scale is actually not quite accurate it'll round up to the nearest number Samurai Pegasus could actually weigh just a little over 36 grams or just a little under 36 grams um, it's not completely accurate so that's actually a flaw I have with this scale for example let's take apart this Beyblade a 0g crystal stone face or stone face weighs about 1 gram or 1.2 grams but it's so light that it won't register on the scale even switching it over it won't register it so that's actually a pretty big problem if you're worried about accuracy. Same thing with tracks and bottoms. So it doesn't say it. It doesn't register. Same thing with that. Even both of them, it won't register. But these are pretty small uh, tracks and bottoms. Here's a 230. 4 grams. Again, it's not um, completely accurate, it's just rounding up. And I uh, have a stone face. It is 5 grams. Alright, so I guess that's it for this review of the Dymo Digital Postage Scale. Not great for weighing individual parts, but okay for weighing um, the Beyblade altogether. If you're too worried about accuracy, I wouldn't invest in this type of scale. 
I'd look into something a little bit more expensive, a little bit more um, fancy, um, because it is rounding up to the nearest number. It's not, eh, it's decent, but if you're, if you really want accuracy, I'd look into something else. But for me, this is okay for now. This is the only thing that was available to me. Alright, so um, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope it was very useful to you, and uh, I will see you next time.